The 27-year-old Switzerland international had already shown his value to City by doing a very good impression of Ruben Diaz in the centre of defence against Manchester United and also slipped in seamlessly to replace the injured Kyle Walker. Everyone is beginning to notice just how good a Kanji is. His intelligence is proving more than a quirk. It is helping him to adapt quicker than even Guardiola had anticipated. The injury to Walker left many assuming that Cancelo would switch to right back just as he did against FC Copenhagen in midweek when Sergio Gomez played at left back. With John Stones also out, Guardiola looked out of options on the right, but Akanji showed against Southampton that this was not the case. Although Guardiola's system is usually described as four at the back, he prefers to build with three. That allows one of the fullbacks to push forward. That demands a lot of the right back, because there's still an obligation to provide width on that flank. Akanji made more tackles than any Manchester City player against Southampton and is averaging more tackles per 90 minutes than anyone else at the club. His one-on-one -on -one defending is solid, reflected by the fact that he's yet to be dribbled past in a City shirt. It is astonishing that City were able to pick up a player of this calibre so late in the transfer window. The consequences could be significant in the title race, with Ake and Stones lacking consistency to play every three games. Akanji allows squad rotation but also inserts his quality into the side. What are your thoughts on City's new defender? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more football videos.